Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Valorant all new act 4 dropped recently for this year and I'm so excited to make this guide for all of you guys because I'm going to be covering all of the best in-game settings as well as the best window settings to optimize your performance to the maximum level for maximum frame rate. Make sure to watch this video till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so since we all know that Valorant is a CPU intensive game, we need to optimize our CPU to ensure that we get the maximum FPS. And not just that, we also need to reduce input latency as well as a lot of other stuff, so keep along. First things first is our window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and over here come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since game bar is an overlay service, it keeps your CPU resources allocated towards itself and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on since it is going to optimize your PC by turning unwanted things off in the background and will help you to save a lot of your CPU and RAM resources. Right after that, head over to the graphic settings and then enable optimizations for windowed games and under the advanced settings, use hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will ensure that you get the lowest input latency and it will utilize your graphic card to render most of the things that can be rendered using your GPU. Then click on the add desktop app over here and then go to the download location of your Valorant. Mostly it would be in the C drive so head over to that. Then shoot a game, binaries, win64 and you'll find the Valorant win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button and if that is already added, scroll a bit down until you find your game. Select your game and then for the GPU preference, select high performance and ensure that it is using your dedicated graphic card. Optimizations for windowed games is turned on and once that is done, now you have to head over to the personalization section and then you have to head over to colors. Disable transparency effects and this will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent. It will save a little bit of your CPU resources, so that might help. Then you're gonna have to search for core isolation over here and simply open it up. Then you wanna have to disable memory integrity as this will help you to reduce the CPU usage by a ton. And once that is done, simply close it. Next step is compatibility settings and for that you need to go to the download location of your game. Once you're in here, head over and look for Valorant Win64Shipping.exe. Right click on your game and head over to its properties. Go to compatibility and ensure that disable full screen optimization is turned on. Then change high DPI settings and select this option. Click on OK and then click on OK and this will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton. Next step is using hone.gg to optimize the performance of your PC. Simply go to the link in the description below and download Hone for your PC. Hone is a super useful all-in-one PC optimization tool that can help you to optimize your PC in a few single clicks. First things first is always create a backup. Click on create a new backup and name it something and save it on your PC. Head over to the optimization settings and then you need to enable these options. Optimize Windows Power Plan, Disable Transparency, General Windows Optimization and Windows Timer Resolution. All of these things will help you to disable unwanted power saving features on your PC and optimize the performance drastically. Then you have to click on Disable Windows Game Bar and Disable Hibernation. Scroll a bit down and click on Optimize Mouse and Enable Game Optimization and IO Operations. Other than that, head over to the Games section and then you'll find all of your games installed on your PC. If not, it will auto detect them. Scroll a bit down and find Valorant over here and select that. Click on Best Performances over here and then click on Activate Preset. It has presets for almost all of your games and these presets can be applied on a single go. It will apply all of the best settings that your game needs to boost your performance to the maximum level. I have left a link to download hone.gg on your PC and check it out for yourself. Try it out right now. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications. And for that, simply search for local group policy editor. Simply look up for edit group policy and open it up. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, Windows components, and then app privacy. And right over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Background. Double click to open it up and then set it to enable. This will enable the policy and for default for all applications set this thing to force deny. Click on apply and this will enable the policy to disable all applications running in the background and you guys can natively do that from settings on Windows 10. Next step is the best config settings for Valorant and this is a no brainer. Simply press Windows and R key together and then type in app data over here. It will take you to this folder, head over to local 
and then look for Valorant in this list. Double click to open it up and head over to saved. Go to config and then click on date modified. Ensure that you are always looking at the latest file available over here. Open this thing up and then head over to windows and you will find game user settings.ini. Right click on that and edit in notepad. Once it opens up, you will see a lot of settings right over here. What you have to do is set BU's vsync to false. Audio quality level to zero. This is the most important part over here. And then under the scalability groups, make sure that everything is set to zero. Once all of that is done, press Ctrl and S together and simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And right over here, look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it Valorant and then click on the enter button. This will create a restore point on your PC and you can use it anytime just in case anything goes wrong and you want to revert all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and close system properties. The next step is Valorant Act 4 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Double click to open it up and you'll find in six very simple folders. The first one is Valorant Priority in which I have left these three registry files. You need to double click and apply one of them and to find which priority you need to choose, leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right over here. Second one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. You have to run it the same way, double click and apply that and know what CPU you are using before that. It will help you to optimize the DWORD value for your processor to increase its performance. Third one is RAM optimization which basically does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I use 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this one and just in case if anything goes wrong you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely garbage and trash. They consume a lot of CPU resources and threads on your PC. Simply disable every single one of them by double clicking on them and it will help you to boost your performance drastically. And just in case you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave them as it is. And if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and apply any of them to revert them back again. Next is input delay improvements in which I had left keyboard latency fix and mouse latency fix. You have to open this folder up and make sure to leave your keyboard model down in the comment below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose individually. Next is mouse latency which has a fixed mouse curve registry. You can edit it in a notepad and see it helps you to set up the correct mouse sensitivity and smoothen your mouse X curve and Y curve according to the pros settings. Simply double click to apply that and you should be good to go. Sixth one is useful programs in which I have left these three programs. First one is clean temporary files dot bat. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press your enter button and this will clean all temporary files on your PC and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Simply close it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to look for your graphic card in this list and click on the MSI button next to it. Make sure that your interrupt priority is set to high and this will ensure that your graphic card can handle more interrupts and optimize its performance drastically. Next is unpack CPU, you wanna have to right click on it as administrator again. And this is a very simple tool which helps you to unpack all of your CPU cores. Windows by default, put the cores in sleep mode which are not in use. And to fix that, you have to set your system power plan to hone ultimate performance if you are using the hone app or go with ultimate performance power plan or high performance power plan and set it as active mode. Then slide your core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on the apply button and that should be it. Simply close the app and also close the FES pack. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, packet loss and ping issues using Lagofast. I have left a link to it down in the description below. You guys can simply go and download it for your PC for free. Once you open up Lago Fast, it should look like this and it offers you more than 500 games to choose from. Simply search for Valorant in this list and select that. Click on the server button and then go to the nearest region to you. For me, it is India and the path should be the lowest one available for you. Once you select your country, you now need to select your server. Simply select the server with the lowest ping and then click on one click boost. And as it says, it helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance and it will help you to fix your packet loss, ping issues, high latency and jitter and input latency as well. Once it is done boosting, it will show you your estimated ping and estimated packet loss throughout your game. You can simply click on the start game button and launch your game right from the app. And the best part about LEGO Fast is the FPS boost section wherein you guys will find CPU optimization. You can simply enable these optimizations which I have done over here and then restart your PC and open up your game to maximize your performance. Once again, I have left a link to LagoFast down in the description below. Go check out and fix all of your packet loss, ping issues and high latency issues from this one single app.
Next step is the best Valorant settings and for that simply open up your game. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings bar and then click on the settings button. Over here, head over to the video settings and then make sure that your display mode is set to full screen. Then your resolution should be a native monitor resolution. And after that, Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, go with on plus boost if that option is available for you. Then head over to the graphic settings and then multi-threaded running should be turned on since this option will be available for everyone who have more than four cores on their CPU. Then all of the qualities over here should be set to low, vignette and vsync should be turned off, anti-aliasing you guys can go with MSAA 2x and anisotropic filtering you guys can go with 16x. Then all of the other options over here should be turned off and that will help you to gain extra FPS. Once all of that is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and since we are really close to 250,000 subscribers, only you guys can support us to reach that goal. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.